Squad family, uh, I'm out here at North Jackson High School on my old stomping grounds for over 12 years. Uh, gonna do a little stadium workout for you today. I'm here with my nephew Nick. Got dad, Nick's dad back here, my wonderful brother in law Tim back here filming for us. Uh, we're gonna uh, do you a little warm up, dynamic warm up. Nick has already ran a 400, okay? So before starting this workout, you definitely need to run a quarter mile or 400 meters. Slow, steady jog. You're not trying to run a race right there, okay? Then you're gonna do this dynamic warm up, which we're gonna show you. Then we're gonna hit the bleachers and carry through a little plyometric workout on those bleachers, all right? So first up, we're gonna do some walking high knees. Knees gonna start right here at the line. He's gonna go approximately 10 meters right there with those walking high knees. All right, go ahead, Nick. Notice he's moving his arms with his legs. He's got great form right there. Picking those knees up high and working those arms in conjunction. Now you would actually do that twice Okay, so you do it down here and then do it again back. But just for time's sake, just showing you everything, uh, we're gonna go ahead on to the next move, which would be quad pulls. All right, go ahead, Nick. Quad pulls. I'm sorry. Uh, my, I told you the wrong thing. That's my fault. I messed him up. We're going butt kicks, brother. Butt kicks. Here we go, here we go. That's it, walking butt kicks. Again, see, he's moving his arms with his legs. See, too many people just hold their arms like limp noodles right there. Great job, Nick. All right, now we're going shin grabs. All right, again, you would do that one twice, okay? You would do those walking butt kicks twice, then you come to these shin grabs. Again, hopefully you can see he is grabbing that shin and really pulling the knee up to the chest, okay? He's not just touching the shin. He's grabbing and pulling. All right, great job, Nick. All right, coming back, he's going to do quad pulls. Quad pulls. There you go. He's pulling that quad every time he steps. There's no baby steps in between. Okay, takes a step, pulls that quad back, pulls that leg back to stretch out that quad in front of that thigh. Make sure you're feeling it in the front of that thigh. Work on maintaining your balance. Again, this is a dynamic warm up, getting all those hip flexors and quads and hamstrings ready to fire on all those plyometric moves here in a moment. All right, give me a. Uh, Frankensteins. Right. Some people call these Frankensteins. Some people call them Russian kicks. Regardless of what you call it, notice Nick is kicking his leg up. He's not falling backwards. Okay, he's keeping his body vertical. Opposite hand to opposite foot. So sideways, it looks like that, okay? Again, you're doing all these moves twice. All right, walking lunge. Walking lunge. There you go. Now we're doing walking lunge twist, okay? Twist to the front knee, that's it. There we go. All right, so notice he gets down there. And notice his thighs getting parallel to this track surface. Okay, getting down there nice and low without letting that back knee touch. He's twisting only to the front knee. Again, loosening up those sides and hip flexors when he does that. All right, that is it for our dynamic warm up. We're about to head up to the bleachers right here. We're going to show you five different moves. One time a piece, and we'll talk about how many times you should do it. So first move we're gonna do is just simply running up the bleachers, okay? Now, all bleachers are different. These set of bleachers right here have got a small intermediate step in between to help people get up. Nick is just gonna skip those intermediate steps and go every big step. He's gonna run all the way to the top, and he's just gonna walk it back down at his own pace. All right, Nick, here we go. Move, 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 move. He notice him pumping his arms. Great arm action. Picking those knees up. All the way to the top. And boom. Good job, Nick. Now he's going to come back down again in his own pace. If you're able to run it back down, you can. But I'd recommend just walking it back down. Maybe a, you know, a quick walk. Because, again, it's a plyometric workout. I mean, you're putting a lot of pressure on those joints right here. Good job, Nick. All right. So that's the first move. Second move is going to be lunges. Okay. So now Nick is going to lunge. Up these, and again, he's just going to lunge the big steps. He's going to skip those intermediate steps. All right, notice how he's getting down there low, getting that thigh parallel, stepping up. His shoulders are staying back with his hips. Okay. Not letting them fall forward. He's not over striding to the point that his shoulders fall forward. All the way to the 
top with that, and sort of really get those quads burning, especially after you're doing the running. Again, you keep a great form, going all the way to the top. And on these moves, again, we're just gonna show you five different moves, okay? On a flight of stairs this high, I would recommend doing it three to four sets, okay? Three to four sets, because this is a pretty big flight of stairs right here. Do this three to four times each move. So, so far we've run and we've done lunge. Okay. All right, great job, Nick. Now he's gonna come back down again at his own pace. Again, after you've done that three to four times, you ran three to four times, you've lunged three to four times, those quads should be on fire, so now you're gonna get a little bit of a break and hit more of the glute and hamstring right here with a hip extension, okay? So Nick's gonna take, again, just step in the big ones. Or excuse me, this time we're actually gonna go on the bleacher steps right here. People actually sit down. He's gonna take a step and then his back leg is gonna kick up and he's really squeezing that glute. All right, go ahead, Nick. There you go, hold that balance. Notice he's kicking that back leg back. So left foot's up, he kicks the right leg back. Right foot's up that left leg back, okay? For this one, you will need to get just a little bit of forward lean just to keep yourself in balance and put more pressure on that glute and quad, uh, glute and hamstring area, okay? Again, going all the way to top. And once again, we do this one three to four times and do this one where people actually sit, not the steps themselves. This works out better. Easier to do because of the intermediate steps that aren't in the way. If you don't have intermediate steps like this one does, you can just do it right up the stairway. You know, just whatever you got. You got to work around with what you got. That's it, Nick. All the way to the top. Great job, great job. Now coming back down to your own pace. Again, safe probably for about the seventh or eighth time now. Remember, you do it every one of these moves three to four times, okay? Three to four times. Don't cheat yourself. On the flight of stairs this high. If you had a smaller flight of stairs, like across the way over there, hopefully y'all can see that. That's much, much shorter than these are. Matter of fact, it's only not even quite half of what these are. I would do at least five to six sets on a smaller flight of stairs like that, okay? You just gotta adjust to what you have. All right, fourth move. And he's gonna do it. Hops, okay? Again, he's gonna hop just the big steps, skipping the intermediates. Both feet are gonna stay together. He's gonna get about a quarter squat and as quick as he can go up through there and take off. Here we go, Nick, boom, right there. Notice he's still using his arms. His arms coming back and then forward. Just gives him a little extra momentum. Keeping his feet about shoulder width. Hopping those big steps all the way to the top. That's it, Nick. Come on now, here we go, keep those feet. Right there, so you notice he started losing a little bit at the top. That's what'll happen, because again, it's a lot of pressure on the joints. And you keep doing it over and over, by the time you get to the top, you're getting kind of worn out and dizzy, especially if you actually do this entire workout, where you've done it three to four rounds before you went to the next move. So just be careful. Don't anybody hurt themselves, falling down, busting their shins up. But I've seen it happen many a times. Done it many a times myself. All right, our last move we're gonna do, okay? This is the fifth and final move. Again, you're gonna do this three to four times. This is a squat jump. So he's gonna get in a good squat position right there. And again, he's gonna just squat jump the big steps, not those intermediate ones. If, however, okay, you need to squat those intermediates, I mean, jump on those intermediate steps, run them up, you know, by all means you do that. Okay, you gotta work what you need as an individual. All right, Nick's young and athletic. He can handle them big ones. All right, take off. That's it. Notice this one, he's resetting every time because he's dropping those hips, okay? Dropping those hips in a good squat position. It's not like the hop. Hop, we were trying to go fast. This one, he's hitting, settling, dropping those hips and exploding back up out of those hips, okay? Put some more pressure on those quads this time. Whereas the hop, he's just worried about quickness, okay? That's great, Nick. Getting all the way to the top right there. Man, he's at the top right there. He's getting down there low. We like to see. That's awesome. Awesome. Daddy taught him well. Great job, Nick. Walking on back down. Look here. See, he's 12 years old and he's breathing hard. And he's like, 
I can hear him all the way down here. Okay, and he only did it one time a piece. So this is a pretty strenuous workout. So if you have a lot of joint problems or anything, I wouldn't recommend doing the jumping itself. Maybe just walk it instead of running. Just walk up them, okay? Instead of doing those hops. I really can't substitute a whole lot of things for those hops. Uh, just do some extra walking up them. Anyway, great job, Nick. Again, hopefully this helped you. Uh, again, we're gonna be doing actually three more of these, one each week. They will be different, okay? So if you like stadium workouts, uh, especially now that we can't really get close together to one another, at least for a little while, uh, Hopefully these things will help you. You got a stadium you can make use of. If not a stadium, at least just a nice long stairwell of some kind that you can do these on. So again, next week we'll do another one to be totally different from this, and then the two weeks after that as well. So it'll be four total workouts counting this one. So anyway, hope this helped y'all. Um, I hope you're able to utilize it. Again, thank you, Nick. Thank you, Tim. Y'all have a marvelous day.